And as millions of Californians hit the road this week, the California Highway Patrol is reminding everyone they will be out on maximum enforcement, working to keep you safe this holiday. Joining us to talk more about the maximum enforcement period and other traffic safety is Officer DC Williams with the Fort Tejon Office of the California Highway Patrol. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Nice to see you too. Thanks for having me. Obviously, this is a busy, uh, busy time of year. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, we're literally started. talking about the busiest travel days of the entire year. We're talking millions of people hitting the roads uh, across our country. We're going to see a lot of it, of course, here in California and in Kern County. What is CHP doing right now to kind of prepare? Well, right now we are keeping an eye on traffic. We do yeah. have officers out there. As you mentioned earlier, we've got that maximum enforcement period that does start uh, on Wednesday evening mm -hmm. at 6 yeah. Zero one, you know, yep. six oh one p.m. I mean, it, it's going to be going on all day, anyways, because officers are going to be out there. Traffic has basically already started. We saw a pickup in traffic over the weekend. Even on my way down here today, there's already traffic out there going. People are already heading out because kids are out of school this week. Right. And I was going to say, you know, talking about the maximum enforcement period, uh, you know, it, it, it's a lot of people have, uh, you know, deemed Wednesday the, the party day before Thanksgiving, right? Some right. people call it Blackout Wednesday because it's when all the families and friends get together. They don't want to yeah. cook and they're seeing each other for the first time, some in, in, in years. Yep. So I know that's a lot of talk happening across the country. It's We know that there's a lot of big parties planned for tomorrow night. I've talked to yeah. uh, Police Chief Greg Terry earlier today and he says, yeah, they're going to be out in full force as well. So what are you looking for? What are your CHP officers looking for when they're out on the roads just doing this, nor you know, their normal patrols? Yeah, basically what we're looking for is any, any unsafe driving. Yeah. So if you've got somebody who's speeding, somebody who's driving, uh, say like following too closely, unsafe lane changes, somebody's weaving in their lanes, we're going to be making those enforcement stops, checking on the people, making sure that they're okay, making sure that they're being responsible because as you mentioned, people are going to be seeing each other, there's going to be parties, there's going to be all this stuff going on, which of course we know there's going to be those wonderful special beverages that everybody's right. going to want to partake yep. of and hopefully everybody's being responsible, using the ride shares, using a designated driver. If you're with family and friends, hang out there, spend the night, sleep it off. Yeah. Yeah, and then just overall for people who are going to be traveling over the grapevine and you know and other major roadways, um, there's obviously going to be a lot of traffic. And we talk about how Wednesdays, you know, sometimes the busiest travel day of the year. Then there's also the Sunday after Thanksgiving. It's just yeah. busy all around. What is your overall advice? Sometimes you know we travel a lot, but traveling on Thanksgiving is different. No, it is. It is very, very different. Um, I've been doing this for almost 22 years, and yeah, it, it just keeps getting busier and busier. So plan ahead. Check your car, make sure your vehicle's in good working order. Make sure you've got, I know we keep talking about it all the time, is that go bag. I was gonna yeah. bring mine with, but the thing's all beat up anyways. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a Michael Kors bag or, right. or a Chanel bag. <laughs> Just something that you can put some drinks in, some snacks in. Um, you know, you've, you know, if you're like my wife and my kids, they've all got their favorite blanket, so you've already got a blanket inside there in case you get stuck. And just make sure you got that full tank gas before you come up and over the grapevine. And if there's something going on or you get like an emergency phone call, let your passengers handle that call. Oh, okay. Let That's them, a good reminder. Let them yeah. take the pictures. If yeah. there's like a big crash scene that you want to take pictures of so you can talk about it at Thanksgiving dinner, mm -hmm. let your passengers take care of it. And if you're by yourself and you've got to make an important phone call, exit the freeway. Because if you're stopped on the shoulder, we're going to stop and check on you. Cars are going to be passing by you, people are going to be calling you in, so just ask the freeway, make that important phone call so you can be safe. Yeah, and I know that you know the weather forecast, of course, looks great, but that doesn't mean that the grapevine is not going. I mean, there, there right. could still be closures depending on what happens. So. Right, and we got wind gusts up there as well, too, so right, if you've yeah. got that trailer, make sure you're abiding by that speed limit, because yeah. as I was coming down, you got people with the, pulling those trailers and right. they're not tracking very well and right. they're weaving back and forth, and that can cause an accident by somebody coming up and just making that abrupt turning movement. and. Then there goes traffic and you got yeah. all those delays. All right, DC Williams, thanks so much. Uh, happy yeah, Thanksgiving. No Stay Same safe. to you. Thank right. you. Appreciate it. Speaking of that forecast, Kevin's going to have a look at it next.